this one's going to be just more directly focused today. I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> the purpose of this channel is to share more about things that are to do with living true, living your best life, right? To making sure that you're ultimately truly happy, fulfilled deep within your heart, your soul. And building around that to all areas of your life, to having it health, wealth, you know, wisdom, happiness. Well, you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so with that in mind, I just really want to talk about how everybody seems to be in a rush. Everybody seems to be in a rush. And let's get into it. So I've been thinking about this one for a while in a sense. It's been on my mind, I've been conscious of it and I've been aware of it. The whole world's just do, 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 trying to go, go, go. And a lot of the things that people are chasing because they to seek fulfillment are or doing the opposite, right? Unfulfilling tasks to get to fulfillment and there's never a get to and all of that. Um, so I really want to talk about that now because it's really a transformed over the last few years, but particularly the last few months even more for me. And it's been a fundamental change that has changed my perspective hugely and my sense of fulfillment and pleasure in life transforms. Build a meaningful life. Build meaningfully. So start something, create something that is meaningful. Like a strong foundation of a house. A lot of people seem to be starting things, business and stuff, because they want to get somewhere, they want to have that, they want to do this, and they want to get there as quick as possible as so they piddle together, they want to get out there and they're looking for the quickest. A lot of the adverts show that, right? They must be working for a lot of us because it's like make money quick, get followers quick, all of this different stuff about do this, get this, and there's nothing meaningful in it. And it doesn't really work apart from the people who really get financial freedom from doing these things are the ones that sell it, right? Because I said before, you, you've probably heard the saying, the statement, which just seems very, very accurate, that the best way to make money online is to teach people to make money online or tell people how to make money online, it's kind of, you know, educate people how to make money online. And a lot of these people, they go straight to doing that or, and a lot of it, you can tell this, it's about, because the first thing they say is you want this and the, the outcome is nothing meaningful. And it's sold as a quick, easy thing and there's nothing in life. You could correct me if, <laughs> if you've experienced something different and I'd love to hear about it, definitely. But nothing truly, deeply meaningful and fulfilling, especially in the long term, is ever happens easy, quick. Kind of takes away the point of meaningful. The, the meaning becomes in the, the the effort, in a sense as well. Part of that is the effort you put into it. The, you care so much about it; it means so much to you. You're so passionate about it that you go for it and you create it. You put it out there, and that energy is where the meaning comes from. So if you kind of haven't put the en meaningful energy into it, how is it meaningful? And then the outcome is what you, you maybe some things happen quickly, but meaningful long term. If it was true, all of us would take these these courses that are constantly being sold by so many different people, how to get rich quick, basically. Um, and we'd all be super wealthy on our yachts right now, but we're not. So something needs to change, right, I feel. And I feel there's a lot of people out there that hear, I feel the same as me. It just doesn't make sense. It just seems, it's just bullshit, right? It doesn't speak to you. It's just trying to speak to the money fear part, the money, I really want that dream. It's trying to sell a dream. Um, and apparently they're $20 course or... 300 pound course is going to change that and hey some things are useful some education is great education is important there's a lot of this there's a lot of rubbish out there as well so you can be careful of that but more than that even if it was going to do what it says we there's a lot of us if you're like me and you, if you're watching this and you if you're interested in this and if you watch more than one of my videos then you're more likely than not know that there's more to life than that that there's a deeper sense inside you that you know you can, you can, you've got more to offer, more to give, more to experience, more to be. You know, you want to make a difference in your own life, but also in for the greater good. A lot of us want to this world to be better because we were here, but instead of it just being a silly slogan, we can actually do something about it by getting into our best selves and sharing that. We can create that which we desire through that power. A lot of us seem to want, and I think it's, it's not not it's not our fault really, right? The world is set up in a way when you come into it as a young adult, you just kind of, all these different things are telling you to do. And then you start to realize it doesn't really 
fulfill me. It doesn't make really, it doesn't really make sense to me. If you're like me, you read it, I question it. Like young and it's like, what? You want me to do this and that? And you do that because of that. And when they tell you, you can tell you they're not convinced, but they sort of convince themselves not to question, not to, to doubt it. And a lot of people get caught up in that. And it's even for me, it's been really difficult because a lot of society operates on that. Depends what kind of life you want, right? What frequency are you living on? Do you want to play on people's... A lot of it's like playing on insecurities to try and... You know? Or do you want to fill them with hope? Or more importantly, fill them with faith. And that they can create whatever they want to create if they believe in it and they are passionate about it. And people, so many people start a business or start all this different stuff. It's always got to start with you, that foundation. Don't skip it and try and create the next best thing, the thing that's going to sell the fastest, the thing that seems to be a hit right now, the thing that seems to be the easiest, the quickest way to get wealthy and have the freedom. Because all of that is useless if you've got the freedom and time. And you, even if it did work out, like, what are you going to do with that time? Start off building from the ground up. If you look at lots of the people that are truly doing well in life, and I don't mean just financially, but in, across a array of the things, or seem to be, and they're openly taught, they're very open people generally, that you, only the ones you'd see, obviously. But um, they've got a real sense of who they are, their place in this, like the personal power they have, and it's up to them to do it. And that it comes from a place of passion, and it's often it means more than just about you. Uh, it's a vision and an idea that's bigger than you. Because often if it's not, it's very hard to kind of keep that momentum going. It's got to be more than just about you, and more than just about you putting money in your account, you've got to have a real reason that's really deep because on a difficult day you're not going to keep picturing that yacht and it's going to keep you going so it's got to be way deeper than that right and I think a lot of people get focused on that end that flashy thing and they think they want that and they're stuck where they are and they just see that and it's shown everywhere that it's like get to that and I'll feel better about myself but you can feel better about yourself right now and you can be successful right now whilst building something beautiful long term that will make you financially and all these different things so to get to my point build solid foundations really right and it just sounds silly simple whatever thing like that but what i mean is solid foundations in the sense of what do you really want what do you really desire what do those things give you i could talk about it's the feeling behind that goal that is what you want what do you need to do that right now you want to you want to make an impact you want to be significant you want people to kind of go yeah you yeah. is nothing wrong with that but you gotta get in the right ways right and you want what freedom you want financial freedom you want Ideally, the way I want it, financial time and what was the other one? Go on, plus one nine a sec. That's it, location. <laughs> so the three main kinds of freedom that I know of are financial, but there's no good being financial free if you're tied up, right? Then you want to be location and time, most importantly, time's the most precious, right? But not only do you want to do, be that, right? If you're like me, you want to be doing something amazing, fulfilling, continue to grow and develop and share stuff and create stuff and make a difference and content constantly like creating wonderful things and having wonderful experiences as part of that so what are you going to start doing you start that business because you really want to help those people you really want to transform that you know do you want to start that company like i think it's like spacex if you you could tell and the way he speaks elon musk like he's super focused and passionate it's what he wants to do he wants to make us interplanetary species right so he's completely focused on it 100% but if he was doing it to make the billions he would it, it's unlikely it'd have ever worked right you've got to start for the love of it you've got to share that love with each and every one person you meet do it fully at the bottom not wait till you've got loads of people interested loads of people watching your videos loads of people following you loads of clients but your first client, you say, you know, how you speak, how you portray that, what you your life is. Is your life completely aligned with that? Look at being a health coach and you eat shit all the time. You know what I mean? Or being a health coach and you don't even really care about other people's health. I've worked in the fitness world, and I'm not saying people don't really care, but this this is there's only a few people that really care about the fitness. And I cared to a level, but it wasn't for me. And I knew that. And I was a I was a decent, you know, I was I was decent. I was you know, above average in there in a sense, you know what I mean? I had a lot of passion, but it wasn't fully, fully my passion, my, my sense in life of this is what I should be doing. And if it's not that, you shouldn't be doing it. And if you, if you're, it's like a teacher. If you're a teacher, you should be doing it for the teacher and you can't really do it for the money because it's not great. But I suppose a lot of people sh probably shouldn't be teachers as well. So that's an interesting one. But you know what I mean? You've got to be doing that because you love it. You've got to be working for animals because you love animals. One day, 
you may make lots of money. If that's important to you, there's nothing wrong with that. It's, it's, that that's important to me in a way as well, right? That's one element of my kind of um, future vision and success in a sense. But if you're doing it just for that, it's going to be very empty. And also, you'll probably find it's more difficult. Because if you're not inspired by something, I'm, very, I'm a great example of this. I can't do anything. I'm just not inspired by it. I think my, my, my curse has also been my blessing. That I've not been able to stick at jobs and courses and stuff that aren't right for me, that just aren't right for me. It's just been amazing. I probably 1% of the things I try, I kind of really are right for me or I continue doing. Whether it be whatever activities, um, jobs, business ideas, all of that. It's like crazy. So I think if 10% of what you put your time into actually works, it's just, that's just amazing. So focus on that. Focus on that which you love. We can get too caught up in the end goal. It's good to have vision. It's good to keep that in there. But day to day, especially, make sure you're doing it for the right reasons. You're not doing it to get more of that, to get this, to sacrifice for that. And now and again, there'll be situations where that may play a sense. But I'm just speaking of you're not doing things just for an outcome that's not even really what you want. You're doing it because you love doing it. And even if it never made the business, this talk about business now, if this business never made the money, it was never financially successful, or it was only just financially comfortable, would you still do it anyway? Say it failed completely in the two years, would you be glad you just tried it and it, done it? That's for you to decide. But for me, pretty much everything I've done has been with that mindset. That I have no regrets about any of it. Sometimes I've hated my, I've had health, health problems and stuff, but no regrets about anything. I've been lost and spent, I've had little money for most of my adult life. But I knew until I found that something really meaningful that was worth my time and energy, that one, it just wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth my time and energy. And two, it was never going to be successful on any level, including financially, because I wasn't in it completely. So find something that you just really love, love doing, love talking about, love creating, whatever it may be. You can even just do that on YouTube, right? You can find a topic that you really love and just share it. But things take time. Things take time. Meaningful things take time. But if you've chosen the right thing, you'll enjoy doing it. And that's what you want to look out for. Make sure you're enjoying doing it. Don't be in a rush to get to that end, that end goal. If there's ever an end goal, that's usually the thing to worry about. <laughs> and especially because it means generally you're going to be focused too far on just that in the future and not in what you're doing. There's nothing wrong with having ideas and visions for the future. But make sure what really inspires you and what really grabs your attention is what you're doing right now. Hey, and it may not be you jump straight into it. Maybe you have different things going on. You're like, whoa, 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 whatever. Whatever, right? Whatever works for you. You've got to find the right way for you. So you just start doing it in your spare time. And build it slowly. And as the years go by, decades, and years are nothing if you look at it long way. Glad you started now, you know what I mean? There's plenty of businesses that have started well later in life. And they've become huge. And they're huge for the world as well. So it's like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? And if it's not something deep and meaningful in the craft, in the whatever you're doing, look elsewhere. It's got a... <laughs> We're shaking. <laughs> it's got to really make your heart... Woo! Whatever. If, I don't know if my heart does that, but did your heart go woo? <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean. So make sure there's, search for meaning, and in a sense, the rest will take care of itself. Don't search for results. Search for meaning. Search for making a difference. Search for answers. Search for beauty. Search for all the, the wonderful things like that. Search deep inside yourself, and then project that out. Create. And as I say, it's all up to you then. It's on you for you your life is yours and in this world we live in now you can really with like the access to the internet all these different things social media you can really create a business from like no money you can really from a, a simple idea you can put it out into the world straight away like via youtube for example and you can start to share that and you can start to create that right now and you could eventually make money off it as well make a, make a living and then who knows from there you make an abundance if you connect to it and you focus on that. Here we go, guys. Take care.